Hi and welcome. We have developed this video to get you familiar with using Google Hangouts on air. This is a free, easy way for you as an instructor to give a lecture to a student at a distance. Simply put, you begin Hangout on air through Google, you record yourself speaking and or you can record your desktop just in case you might have a PowerPoint. And the only thing you'll need is a webcam, microphone, your Google account, which you have one with JD, and a YouTube account. Your YouTube account and your Google Hangouts will need to be connected. So to get started, you can open up your JD email or your personal email, whichever one you want. So I'm going to click over here at the top, see where it says plus and then it has your user. That gets you to your Google Plus page. If you'd rather, type in plus.google.com. Over here on the left side, it'll automatically drop down when you put your link on it. Click on Hangouts at the top, Hangouts on Air. Over on the right side, start a Hangout on Air. Now you'll need to give it a name. I'm going to do Test Hangout. This is where you'll put a description. You can choose to either start your Hangout now or you can do it for later. This is your audience right here. It's automatically set to public to begin with. You can click the X to delete that and then enter your audience. When all this is finished, you'll have a YouTube link. So for now, I would only put just one person or maybe just your personal one or the opposite account that you're using. So for now, I'm just going to add my JD email because whoever is in your audience at this moment will be able to join your hangout and this is before you even start recording your PowerPoint this is you getting set up and everything so you may not necessarily want your students in at this particular time unless you do want to have a hangout with all of your students and be able to talk and chat and have questions and answers or times like that but for this purpose we're only going to set it for recording your desktop and your voice at for a lecture and then once you're done you can click share. Now, if this is the first time you've done this, you will get this message right here. It says click here to verify your YouTube account. We will need to do that. You can choose one of these two options. I prefer the text me the verification code. Enter your cell phone. Once you enter the verification code, you click submit and you'll get the message. So click on continue and this will take you to your YouTube account. Now, since we had to verify, you're going to have to refresh your page here. So I'm going to click on Cancel. I'm going to hit F5 to refresh our page so it syncs our two accounts. And then once again, we're back at the Start a Hangout on Air. We're going to call it Test Hangout again. Again, your description goes here. We're going to set it to Start Now. Delete public. I should mention too, if you do want to have a hangout with your students and to be able to do a question and answer and talk among each other, you can add your students to specific circles per your class. And then whenever you go to do one of these, you can select the circle that your students are all in. And then click on share. If this is the first time you're doing it, you can read through the options here and it's telling you these different things here a question and a or a Q&A for questions and answers or the showcase to share the links with your audience or applause for the hands. Now this over here shows you details of everything you just entered and this is your viewers of who is watching and you can also invite more if you need to. But for now we're just going to click on the blue start button and this is going to bring up your Hangouts window. And then once it connects, it's going to have your webcam on you. It also asks you to invite more guests. If you want need to invite more, you can do that here. Or you can simply just click on Skip, which is what we'll do now. And then this is just terms that you'll have to click I agree and then continue. And of course, read through those. These are your options here at the top. 
It'll load before it broadcasts, and only people that you invited will be able to see and join this particular part of your Hangout. So right now, it is not recording. All this part that's going on right now will not show up in your YouTube video. Over here in the bottom right corner, see links? This is the links that you'll see, that you'll give out. The one that you should only be concerned with is the YouTube page. This is the link that you'll send to your students, and this is the link that you will share. I'm going to open up a PowerPoint. You need a PowerPoint ready to go. I'm going to open up one about Pinterest. When you start your PowerPoint, you'll need to go ahead and hit F5 on your keyboard to start it, and then you can use Alt-Tab on your computer to choose the different selections and then go back to your Google Hangout. Over here on the left side, you see the different options. The one we're going to choose is this green monitor, the screen share. So before we start, we're ready. You have your PowerPoint open, so you can press the green button, start broadcast. And then it lets you know you're about to go live. This is what's going to be recorded for YouTube. So you can click on OK. Over here in the top right, it'll tell you it's going live. And then it tells you it is live. So that lets you know. And you see the yellow, orangey color icon in the top corner. Now, this is being recorded. So you could give your introduction to your students. Over on the left, choose screen share. Select the PowerPoint slideshow and hit share. Now your voice will still be recorded and you can click through your slideshow. Just as if you were getting a lecture, giving a lecture in class. Once you are done, you can press the escape key to get out of that. Go back to your Google Hangouts. Now if you're done with your the recording part of it, you can click on the leave call up here at the top. And this tells you you're currently broadcasting and you want to end it. So now your Hangout on Air is now over. The recording part is now over. You can click this link here for YouTube Video Manager but it takes a couple of minutes before your video is actually uploaded to YouTube. So for now, you can simply click close. And then you can go back to your Google Hangout page. We'll hit F5 on the keyboard to refresh your page. And then you'll see here is going to be your Hangout that you just did. You can watch it right here. Hit the play button. Now we'll pause it. You can click on watch on YouTube. And it'll take you to your YouTube episode. You can change the settings by hitting the little pin right there. You can change the name, change the description. Right now it's selected as unlisted which means you can share the link for the students. You can set it to public if you wish to do that or simply as private. Save changes. And that's it. That's how you record your Hangout on Air. Thank you.